things like formaldehyde, things like ammonia. And, and uh, so he had to make these pentose sugars. But the pentose sugars have three stereogenic centers, which means that you're going to end up with, with a total of eight possible, uh, 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 eight possible isomers. You get these, these four pairs of enantiomers, and then between the pairs of enantiomers, they're diastereomers. So you, you don't just get one, you get all of them. So what happens is you need these five carbon sugars, or you need to have the D ribose in particular. If it's for DNA, you have to now pull off one of the hydroxyl groups to be deoxyribose, unless you want to start with RNA, which is fine, and then you'd have ribose, but then it's a lot less stable. But the prebiotic system never knows that. So when we want to make something in the lab, we, we, we decide the target we want to make, and then we go ahead and make it. The prebiotic system doesn't know what it's going to make. Doesn't know. I think I'll build life today. No, it doesn't know that. There's no brain there in a prebiotic system. 